I always tell everybody that before you do anything in terms of land, land use, you must engage a planner. In all these professions, a planner always goes first because the planner deals with the various land uses in terms of preparation of a master plan, zoning and you know Subdivision. subdivisions, change of users, preparation of all the master plans or land use plans because we have different land use plans mm -hmm. at various levels. You have the integrated strategic plans, you have the local physical development plans and many others. So planners are engaged in as far as dealing with the land uses and also dealing with policies that guide development. As you mentioned, in terms of zoning, I mean, if you are, for example, planning a city, you can do it at high level, but then you have to go into detail and come up with what you call zoning plans for various areas. Mm -hmm. And in those areas, you define, other than the land uses, which you, you can say, this is a residential area, yes. this is an industrial area, and this is the commercial center, and where are they going to be located? There are certain factors that you have to put into consideration when you're locating those facilities. Mm. It's not just a question of just haphazard yes. placing. There are criteria that you must utilize. Mm. And all these are linked up with the road network. And within that uh, planning, for example, in a city, you must provide other facilities. Like if you're creating a population in mm. a certain area, you must provide the supporting facilities. For example, if people are moving in, they'll want schools. They'll want commercial facilities where they're going to shop. Mm. So as planners, we must look at the population that we are generating in an area in terms of land use, come up with the densities for those areas. For example, your scheme, we had to look at what are the standards yes. that the county government has put in place in as far as your project is concerned. Yeah. Yeah, because you could not just go in there and pro provide a 10 by 10 a plot. Mm. You have to go by the zoning policy that has been set aside by the county government. Yes. Those are some of the factors that you have to look into when you're doing the land use planning. So we go first as planners, come up with the la land use plans, master plans and so on and so forth. Yeah. Local physical development plans, that's what planners do. Okay. After we've done that, and got all the necessary approvals, mm. then a surveyor would now come in. A surveyor will now demarcate the plots. For example, if I've come up with a subdivision scheme, then it's the role of the surveyor now to come and demarcate and say, okay, your plot is from this point yes. to the other point. Yes. And prepare deed plans, yeah? yes. which he now must pre present to the director of surveys and obtain the necessary approvals yes. for the for the deed plan, yeah. which will then result into a title deed. Yes, yeah, certificate, certificate release. release. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that is the difference. For them, they deal with the actual survey, laying of beacons, coming up with deed plans. Yeah. But for us, we deal with the land okay. use planning and zoning, coming up with various policies yes. that will guide development. Okay.